They say a picture paints a thousand words, and this picture truly does that. It shows you that no matter how much you cave to the mob, no matter how much you support them, no matter how much you bow down and kneel to them, they will never like you. They don't care. Because regardless of how much the media and athletes want to lie, this mob is not seeking peace, they're not seeking justice, they're not seeking truth, they're not seeking objectivity, they're not seeking the full story and context, they're seeking war, chaos, destruction, and refuse to treat people the way they want to be treated in in fact, if you do treat people the way that you want to be treated, they see you as a threat. I have all sorts of footage of them burning things down, destroying, causing chaos, harassing people in public. Just arrived in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and this is the aftermath from last night. All these cars are torched. That's uh, see, that's the name of the business here. Let's see if we can get a little zoom in. Car source pre owned vehicles and trying to force people to bow down to their communist ideology, threatening and harassing them. But no matter how much arson, violence, threatening, harassing, physical violence, domestic terrorism on properties, the media just wants you to think that these are all peaceful protesters. Mm. It's peaceful. And anybody who doesn't want this to come to their neighborhood or community is a horrible person. Here's an article showing that black businesses are getting destroyed. Here's the testimony of a white business owner who lost his family building. This morning, get up, come down here and I, I, what I see, I was not prepared for. I knew it was going to be a disaster, but I didn't know what a disaster looked like till I saw it. And you, and you, I can hear the the emotion in in just in what you're saying. I mean, what is what is the family feeling right now? It's tough. Um, you know, this is a business that that my parents started 40 years ago, small out of their garage. It was a, it was a small business. Uh, did it just to make a few extra dollars and eventually it grew um, 31 years ago they bought this building and so we've been here ever since um, they they're very upset about it it's emotionally hurtful uh, what we didn't do anything to anybody you know, why do we deserve it hey, sir just my final question we own this building that building that building which are all all destroyed. Um, and when we came on scene, it was just uh, a carnage. So real, basically, well, if, if I had to you sum it up in, in a word, it would be just total carnage. I, I just don't understand why why this something like this would happen. Um, it's it's just uh, it's frustrating. I don't understand why people do these things. Um, our society is it's just really disappointing that, uh, you know, what about just being kind to people? You know, I think that's what maybe somebody should take away from from today is, is do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. And 
And why don't you just show everybody respect? I don't care who you are, what color, race, creed, uh, everybody deserves that. Um, so obviously we'll uh, clean up the damage and, and move forward. In fact, they try to justify it. They say insurance will pay for it, which led left-leaning, progressive-leaning journalist Li Fang to say, if buildings don't matter since they can be easily replaced, live by your own principles, burn your own home down. Every building pays property taxes that fund the police. Start with your own. If you pay rent, what difference does it make? Burn your rental home with your possessions in it. They are just physical objects after all. And because he's progressive and left wing, he got absolutely harassed, ratioed, and attacked by his own followers who called him all sorts of names, suggesting he's doing pro-police propaganda, right wing, blah, blah, blah. This should be a lesson to anybody on the left wing or any progressive. The mob doesn't care about you. If you ever tell the truth, if you ever want to restore order in this country, if you ever want to not just destroy every major city after the federal and local government basically just destroyed the community by shutting down for four, five, six months, if you don't want to do that, then you're the enemy. You must let them destroy. And if you think these people are seeking justice or truth or peace or honesty, all you have to do is listen to their own words. I'm not a big cop fan. However, all cops are not bad. All cops are not good. All black, all white, all Hispanic. There is no every single thing in this group is good. Every single thing in this group is bad. That's just 100% not true. If you're an honest person, you know that. But these aren't honest people. So one of the biggest allies to these rioters is all cops are bad. Obviously, that's not true. But these people want you to believe that they want peace, truth, and justice when they're saying all cops are bad. They want to disband the police completely. Was David Dorn a bad man who got slaughtered trying to protect a business? Of course not. Was the ex-Seattle police chief a horrible woman because she wasn't a degenerate loser and actually tried to do something in her community? Of course not. Is this guy a horrible person? Hey yo, I'm from the hood just like you. My dad was on that bottle, that pipe too. He couldn't read or write, so how you think I like school? My mama working three jobs just to buy food. Was told I'd never make it. Hatred got the best of me. Had nightmares of 12 shooting or arresting me. Until I met this man who helped change my trajectory. He said that I could help you out. They need a recipe. So never let nobody tell you what you can't achieve. Sky's the limit, little homie. Spread your wings. And if them haters hate you now, man, you best believe that it's only gonna get worse the more that you succeed. So dream big and never stop until it comes true. And if you fall, stand tall because you grow through. Every single slip and fall that you go through And despite what they tell you, I'll always be here when you need someone to go to Okay, okay Of course all cops aren't bad But you're not dealing with honest people You're dealing with wicked liars so if you're not a complete liar, the people who are burning down businesses, the people who are harassing people in open cafes, the people who are suggesting every single part of a group is bad, want to destroy society, claim you're the oppressor when you try to stop them, and you think if there were no police or less police and these people had power in government and control over a community that it would be better, nicer, safer? Of course not. It would be a complete hellscape, which is what they're trying to create. And this guy is so bad that even Don Lemon knows that Biden is tanking in the polls because nobody wants to live in a third world country. That's why millions of people try to come to America every single year for the opposite. I do think that uh, this, what you said was happening in Kenosha is a Rorschach test for the entire country. And I think this is a blind spot for Democrats. I think Democrats are ignoring this problem or hoping that it will go away and it's not going to go away. And so unless someone comes up with a solution over the next 73 days or 70 so however many days 68 days 68 days so it's not going to the the problem is not going to be fixed by then now let's keep in mind these people in the streets are not big wigs they're really just the foot soldiers and the pawns of a bigger agenda there's billions of dollars pouring into this type of activism there's billions of dollars of media coverage of sports free advertisements that are trying to mold the public perception into thinking a Marxist communist group, which supports Marxism. Karl Marx was the founder of communism. Communism killed millions of people. And it's not hard to see how when you see how these people operate. It's not a surprise. A lot of this stuff is orchestrated, whether people want to admit it or not. Why would Instagram be promoting communism as a good thing? and promoting capitalism as a bad thing.
It's because the left wingers who control this type of stuff, like the gifts on Instagram, they like communism. They are communists. I'm sorry if it hurts people's feelings, but why else would it look like this? And the sad irony and twist of fate is these foot soldiers and these pawns and these brainwashed zombies in the streets destroying their own communities or other people's communities, they actually think they're fighting the system. They think they're fighting the banks. They think they're fighting big media, but almost all major media is supporting them. All the sports leagues are supporting them. You have major banks supporting them. You have billionaire financiers who have manipulated currencies and economies all around the world who are their biggest donors and sponsors. The system is supporting and fueling this, so they're not fighting the system. They're fighting the one guy that actually fought the system. They're fighting the one guy that ended the endless wars. From Bush in Iraq to Obama and Hillary in Libya and Syria, there have been devastation, millions dead and displaced, slavery among Africans that the media never talked about. And then somebody came in and put an end to one of the endless wars, and now everybody's turning you against him. So it couldn't possibly be less rebellious or counterculture or woke. They're playing you. They're lying to you. And many people saw this coming for decades. And I could be like everybody else and talk about these controversial police situations, but there's millions Millions of people on social media talking about that, so I want to dive deeper. This is never going to be solved if we act like pawns. We have to get to the root of the problem. And you have major world financers, politicians, very wicked people, the media, millions of degenerates in the streets, and a whole political ideology exploiting racial tension and controversial situations to push their agenda of communism. And if you notice, they want to burn your building, they want to attack you, they want to harass you. And if you defend yourself, they want to say you're the bad person. They want to throw you in jail for simply defending yourself. They want war. They want chaos. They want destruction. They want to destroy you and flip the script. So it's not hard to see how when they get power, if Trump was out of the way and they had full control of the government, how millions of people could be killed. Some estimate that communism killed at least 65 million people between 1917 and 2017. And there's even higher estimates in other places. It's not a coincidence. And they want to exploit racial activism and racial tension to achieve these means. I don't know about you, but I do know a majority of the Americans, regardless of their skin color, don't want to defund or disband the police. Even in black communities, it's unpopular to want to defund the police because smart, honest, hardworking families in black community want to live in a community that isn't being terrorized. And they know the biggest chance of getting murdered is not at the hands of a cop. Statistically, it's at the hands of somebody else in your community. And that's just a fact that they try to cover up in the media as well. Honest people know this. Nobody wants to live in a hellscape that looks like this as all celebrities, athletes, and media try to shame you into lying and saying, oh, these people are really going to run our society better than Trump. Wow, yeah, I really want these kids in control. Let's give them power of the courts. Let's give them power of the DOJ. Let's take away police and let them run society. And then as soon as they get in trouble, who do they always call? The police. They don't call their communist friends. They don't call social workers. They call the police as soon as they're injured, hurt, or threatened because that's what everybody does. And I just wanna say I saw this coming in 2018 because they did very similar things in Libya, which led to slavery, and they did very similar things in Syria, which led to a huge refugee crisis. The media lied, left-wing politicians and financiers funded rebel groups that terrorized these communities and tried to overthrow the government. That's just what happened. So when you destabilize a region, it always leads to chaos. It's like communism, it has a 0% success rate. Why would it? But they don't care. They destabilize, destabilize anything to achieve power, anything to achieve their agenda. And they did it in Libya, and they did it in Syria, and now they're doing it in the United States of America. This is not the revolution of the people. This is not the revolution of the little man. This is not the revolution of the worker. This is the purposeful destabilization of leftist, socialist, communists, big banks, big financiers, some of the world's most wicked people. And being a brainwashed, dishonest, degenerate liar who believes in violence, chaos, destruction, evil, and completely unfair, unrealistic expectations for others that you can't even live up to yourself, you don't have the moral high ground. And I'm not gonna be like these other politicians and celebrities who act like you have the moral high ground because they're afraid of the mob. You don't have the moral high ground and people are gonna catch on. And they've destroyed entire countries like this. So what you're seeing in these cities could spread out into your neighborhood and your community soon. And if we don't act up, this is the future for everyone. It's not better. It's not more fair. It doesn't lower racism. Everything that they claim to do, they do the exact opposite. And they don't care because they're not good people. 
They act like they have the moral high ground, but they really don't. They don't care if they burn a black business. They don't care if thousands of black people are killed in the streets all the time. If it doesn't fit their political agenda, they could care less. They're using you, and eventually stronger and more honest people will step up. God bless you. I appreciate you. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to support. I answer all my messages on Patreon. I'm going to do it later today, and have a good one. I'll be back with more videos.